do you? Why do you want to? What is happening? Why is? So today, we've just been doing some more packing. We took a few things to different places in town, people that wanted stuff or bought stuff. And now I'm going to sit down and write some thank you notes for the people who have given to us uh, for the church plant. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I guess tonight we'll go to Bible study and do our normal thing. So. Here's time to write some handwritten thank you notes. And my handwriting is atrocious. But everybody I've read said handwritten notes, and everybody I've talked to said handwritten notes mean something. So I'm going to put some chicken scratch down. So now we're taking the thank you notes, putting them in the mailbox. Go on in. See the one over here that says out of town? Open that up and put them in there. Now that we're caught up, I want to get back into talking about some different aspects of church planting. Um, by the way, yesterday was like 80 degrees, and right now it's 36 degrees and snowing. Not going to miss that, to be quite honest with you. Although it's been an adventure, and I can say that I did it, and uh, I kind of liked having the opportunity when people are like, how do you live there? And say, well, I'm tougher than you. Um, but it's going to be nice not to uh, to deal with those extreme fluctuations. I was talking to a pastor buddy of mine who also has a motorcycle, and I said, yeah, I'm not really pushed too hard to get this motorcycle running here because you only get to ride it once or twice a year, it feels like. Um, and he said, yeah, in all the time he's had his, he's only put 100 miles on it. And so uh, I look forward to being able to to ride more and be outside more. I think that'll help my health. Yesterday I got a text that all of our eyewear has arrived, contacts and glasses. So we decided to run down to Billings today, pick those up, pick up a couple of other things that we need. So we're trying to get out the door. So we've spent the last hour down at the church. The church here doesn't have a lot of money to help with our new church plant eh, like they would if they had a lot of money but we can use the copier and different stuff so you may have seen on the facebook page we're making books song books for out on the the beach so we got us a ccli so we can make copies uh, and sharon's been working really hard to print out the the lyrics to the songs that she can play on the ukulele and we designed this book this was the prototype the very first one um, and we made some changes, some different things that she wanted to do, but we had to work together to figure out how to get the pages to print properly. And we just spent an hour at the church printing them all out. That is the originals. Oh yeah, she cut them all already. So now she'll laminate them, and we got bigger, these little thingies here we got bigger ones of these so make it a little bit easier to open and close and we'll have song books for the beach and she made master copies for the musicians so her and me as I learn to uh, it has the chords and everything in it Great. Do it about it okay so why do you why do you want to what is happening why is Elijah, are you finding my iPhone? You don't have to stop it. You can just cut that stuff out. Okay, sit back down. No, it's this one turned on and started dinging, so I don't know what's happening. Maybe somebody set a timer. Oh. Getting ready for baptisms is always exciting, but even more so when it's your kid's baptism. Anyway, we're setting up the church. 
tomorrow, Jeremiah's decided to get baptized. So we're having a service tomorrow for his baptism. Let's see if I can set the camera up so it won't fall over. So we're getting ready. Yay! <laughs>